Are you looking for the biggest, baddest, meanest muscle car of the 70s? We'll go somewhere else. One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got for you here today is a sweet, sweet 1974 Pinto. Not just a Pinto, a two-door wagon. Pretty cool. Kind of almost sporty. And um, I'm going to do a complete walk around here, kind of exterior. I'm going to go around at once, give you a quick once around. You hear breeder barking up there? Original paint. Original interior. Pretty sure it's a one owner. I have to check my paperwork. It's one or two. Pretty sure it's one owner. Um, just an absolutely gorgeous little car. Runs and drives like a raped ape. This thing runs great. Um, and that's all there is to it. I have a lot of fun driving this car around here. Um, it's actually, I've had it for quite a while. And um, I was going to do the interior. And I decided not to. Just what I've got. Look at going down that side. That's original paint. So, the top is not. It's been painted. Clarify that even though I'm going to go over it later. I figure I may as well clarify it twice to where I'm not. I'm not misleading nobody. I'm going to show you everything. If you watch many of my videos, you know that I show you everything wrong or right with the car. More about the wrong than the right, though. Okay, cool. Now, to answer a question. No! These did not have a fuel tank issue. Um, you can Wikipedia it to your heart's content. What these had was a mistake, and they were just as safe as everything else. From what I read on Wikipedia and everywhere else. They, like, they recanted after they made a bad name for the car. That kind of sucks. Um, sure, we all know this isn't the most luxurious car in the world. We all know this isn't the biggest muscle car in the world. But people who buy a Pinto aren't really looking for that, are they? No. They're just not. That's not what somebody that buys a Pinto is looking for. we got to turn around her here. I'm going to go down the side of the car here. I'll kind of show you up close. And then I'll come back down and show you any dings, dents, scratches. And of course you can see this here. One neat thing about this car, it is not rusty. Non-rusty car. Now, actually, look at this. I broke my finger today, man, and I, it's killing me. Look at that. That actually was painted, and when we were buffing it, it was more like that. But, okay, let's just start kind of at this hood area and tell you that there's, it's not chips. It's the paint's cracked over the years, over the many, many, many years. Now, I'm pretty proof positive that this is original paint. I'm not 100%, but I'm many, many, many 90s percents of sure. Um, so that's just all on the paint. That's all there is to it. Checks in it big time. It is not a perfectly painted car. Well, it was maybe at one point. Um, ding, dent, whatever you want to call it. Right there in the front of that fender. No big body damage. Very clean. This one, this surround, you can see is near perfect. On both sides. These pieces. If, now my hands are filthy. I've worked on these cars all stinking week, all day and everything else. I get them perfectly clean in the morning and within a half an hour, man, it's just, there's no use trying. I actually washed my hands before I came up here and it just, whatever. Okay, if this was a Cadillac, this would be gone. It would be rotten out almost any GM car. That grill just looks perfect. If that was a Chevelle Super Sport or something, it would be missing half the grill. This car is in great shape. Look at the body lines. The only line that's off is right there where, of course, he crumbled it a little bit. This one may be a teensy bit closer due to this, but not really, man. Pretty darn straight. And then every other line on it, just straight as can be. Okay, now for chips and stuff. You know, you've got to expect something like that. This car needs paint. It looks good, and people are going to go, wow, that's a cool car. Chip, 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 and stuff like that, and a little scratchy chip there. You see that? Yeah, scratchy chip. Pinto. Look how the little horsey looks. <laughs> little miscellaneous chips and stress marks in here. Uh, a little discoloration, some chips. Look at the bottom. Rocker molding, great shape, man. All the trim around the wheels. And I noticed this one. Yeah, it had a little bend in it. And my guys should have kind of messed with it a little bit. This is very easy to like get in there and kind of should be safe. That's a very easy thing to do. Look at the muffler in there. Look at the wheel wells. So clean! Okay, this has got, there's another ding there. This should be taken off and just kind of 
hammered out a little bit. It's missing this little piece of trim. It's supposed to come right back to here or so. This is chippied. Chippied? Whatever, okay? Whatever. Just whatever. <laughs> Same thing here. And a little bit starting in here. Very smooth <laughs> on the rest of this panel, though. So, it does look good and stuff. And it's got some shine to it. And, but it does have that issue. Now, as far as being a lot of windows on a wagon, the only real leaks, there's one little tear in the seam right inside there just barely and now i power wash these things we're talking waxing it real quick and then <laughs> let me do that again <laughs> in reverse it kind of sounded a little different because it was in reverse so i do all that to make sure of what i've got and what i'm selling this car is not leaking all over or anything like that it's not rusty in any way shape or form we got little patina -y type stuff right here. He probably did this paint up here just to save it from getting corroded or anything. Now, you got the roof rack. I can't pull that hard with that finger, but I'll tell you what, watch this. Ain't going nowhere, just like that. Even the rubber seals are still pretty good. These things, I believe every, time, every one of them was tight. I don't want to say that until I put my hand on that one, though. That's what she said. Two holes here. Don't know what he did. Maybe he changed the antenna, which is my biggest and bestest guestest. I know what I said. And the only other thing I don't see, I see it's not original, is he put these funky plastic things here. However, this part is original. Trim around here and everything is in great condition. Um, the paint that he put on the top, it looks like he bought auto paint. Looks like he actually wet sanded it or something up here. It looks freaking great, actually. But a lot of it back here looks like he put it on with a paint roller or something. I don't know. Maybe he sprayed it. It just looks like a paintbrush or paint roller, maybe, though. I don't know. You see brush marks. Maybe you can see that. Okay. Got the windbreak or whatever. Very good condition. The seal around the back window is in great shape. Great shape. The windows, they're all in great shape. Look at this trunk. Or hatch cover. Hatch cover, there you go. Trim around the lights. And once again, let's talk about this. Oh my God, on the urethane bumper cover things. I mean, it's just amazing. The chrome bumpers on these are great. These are one of the only cars when they did the big, big swap that didn't have to be completely redesigned because of the bumper changes. Small little tidbit I read while finding out that they didn't really have a gas tank problem. It's gotta suck for Ford, huh? Okay, now let's go down this side and look at it. I'm gonna go back up. I showed you this. Ding here. Chippity 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 chip 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 chippity chippy 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 Okay. Chippity chippity chip 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 right in there. A little piece of trim smash from like the door. Trim smash! I'm making up all kinds of words as I go, but I'm honest as can be about this stuff. You just had to figure out what the word coding is. Chippity chippy chip 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 and chippy scratch. Yeah, whatever, you know what you're getting here. Um, nice this. Dented in door. He actually opened this into something and smacked it right there, it looks like. I'm gonna open this. Yeah, you just kind of dink that a little bit. Oh, scratch there. A couple little dings in the trim. Ding, 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 ding. Ding. And you know what, I gotta check. There might have been a ding on this side. There's a ding there. Is it? Let's just figure there's a ding here somewhere. I know there is. Two right there. A couple. All right. I don't know where I ended there because the battery went bad. So we'll start from somewhere around that point. The rubbers and stuff. The rubbers. Are in great shape. I thought my camera went off. Sorry about that. Um, just a little bit, you know. Them right there could probably be rolled right back onto that. It's like a... Um, See that? It just goes right back. This one just has to be fit on right. That's the only one that's loose. Look how tight that is. That's what she said. Hey, stop that. Okay, so there was a ding here. Dent, whatever you want to call it. Small. I showed you on this side, I know, with the ding -a -de ding -a -de ding -a ding -a ding 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 Along there. But look at this. Just no rust in the common areas, even in the trim. Especially for a Pinto. Chipped up along the door, of course. Look how tight all the seams are, though. 
showed you the top. I know that. I kind of know where I am here. I kind of know. Uh, miscellaneous fake wood coming off. Now, I wonder at one point if this is a woody. I know I said wonder. I should have said wondered. But it's just too original of paint. So, I showed you dingy -de ding 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 because we came this way. So, you've pretty much seen it all. Um, well, Rolf, that's my dog breeder. I didn't show you the top. Just tight as can be. And you can see little corrosionary type stuff in there. And you know what? Wow, that's years of wax. It sure is. And like... The rubber seals are still under it all, if you can see that. Um, okay, so, not perfect on the top because he touched it up. Chipping, uh, whatever. It's not chipping. Somebody will say what it is, hopefully. Um, just a little bit of miscellaneous paint wear in there. Look at the rubber trim. Just in great shape. It must have been kept in a garage or something. That piece is just a bit tweaked out. When I painted that thing, I'd probably take a hammer and go, tink. Probably put a little bit of silicone in there and then go, tink. Although that's not going to leak on that part. Okay. Well, I didn't do the shake test. Look at this. Look at this. Light car. I think they were under 2,000 pounds. Let's see here. Does it say? Twenty-one eighty. GVR thirty eight hundred. Could that be right? No. Well, it is the wagon, huh? I don't know what this thing weighs. How's that? That's the deal. Look at these little hubcaps with a little pinto in them. I showed you under the car. I've showed you around the car. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and do another video, and it'll be the interior reveal. Um, and I'll do a test drive. Sorry to bob my head through that there. Wasn't what I was looking to do. Just beautiful. I wanted to show you these hubcaps in a more dark setting again. Just beautiful with all the trim. I want to make sure the other two wheel lip moldings are over there. And I'm going to end this. This is not all rusted up. It's just got some patina on it. Look at this. The original little clips. Front and back. Haven't even broken yet. That's just amazing. Same thing here for this trim, except there's a screw popped in that one. I want to show you. And tight, 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 except for the corner piece. You know, that could be a factory screw. I don't know. Maybe that one's just, yeah, that one's just kind of corroded on the head. Okay. That's, oh, stuff on the bumper right there. Yeah, that's about it. Ain't much else to talk about. A little ding, maybe? I think I showed them all. <whistles> Look at the trim. The trim is all there except for that little piece on the other side. Even around all the windows, you name it. You know... This piece looks a little higher. It should be. But I'm not going to push on that piece. It's definitely just a little bit too high, but I'm not going to push on that. Maybe it got pushed back a tad there. I don't think so. It's just barely popped up. Uh, that probably is it. It probably pushed it up just a tad. Okay, that's the car. Stay tuned, or I'll put a link in here to the interior, and then a link from there to the test drive. I'm going to clip them all together. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. We'll talk to you. Pinto! 74. No smog! And it's pretty much all there. One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. And what I got here for you today is the interior review of this big bad muscle car. Woo, buddy. Gets no nicer in the economy wagon class. This is a 1974 Pinto two door wagon. Um, and I'm going to get a quick walk around here at night so you can see the difference of the body and paint at night and it's absolutely gorgeous and I do do dig this car now it's definitely on the 
the cheap economy cars of the 70s type deal. And like I said in the other video, the fuel tank issue was an overblown thing that really ended up being... They recalled the recall. Does that make sense? Check that out online. You can look it up. But great little car. When it comes to survivors, this is it. Um, this car is a survivor. Non-rusty, beautiful Pinto. So, that's a quick walk around again. The main thing about this is the interior. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'll show you under the hood. And I wait until the sun is at that perfect time. See, it's almost gone. What's over there? Okay. I guess I'll start on the pass uh, blah, 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 blah. driver's side. Pop the hood. What are you doing? Oh, cry, cry, cry. Are you chilly? It's that time of the quarter. Or whatever you say. Okay. Let's just start on the worst first. The seats are torn. That's all there is to say about it. In the fronts. Now this seat actually looks great up here. This seat looks great up here except for this piece. I can get these replaced cheap. This set at my interior shop for a year and a half. This and my Centurion, almost a year and a half. We stopped by to start it every few months and that's about it. Um, it needs a dash pad. That's the worst. Now let's look at the back seat, which needs nothing, pretty much. Door jams and everything clean as can be. These here pieces, nice as can be. Okay, there. Oh, it's missing the handle piece there, the plastic on it, I think. Now, I'm not sure if it's the original paint. I am 99.999. I mean, I really can't just guarantee you 100%. Miscellaneous chips and stuff there. I'm thinking that's for my damn shoe just now. Disc brakes. That doesn't even have any wear on it. Carpet's coming up from under the seal, but it's not in perfect shape. I got a shag carpet. I think it's original. Um, yeah, because it's actually got the discolored mark from where the sun was hitting this, but not this. Um, I think that's probably a floor mat on this or something. Yeah, you can tell. Old metal dashes and everything. That was a little piece of seal around this thing. Now, it does have factory AC, which is a super cool option for this car. And I don't know if it had the woody outside. I doubt it. Because it would have been more... You'd have seen more if they took it off. It's got the wood there. Well, not real wood. In here. And on this handle. So that is that. Now, I did tell you, of course, this needs to replace. It's just a little dash pad. For the test drive, I'm going to look and try and find that online. It's not a very expensive piece if you were actually restoring the car. I do not believe it has been smoked in or anything. That's just age on it. Two post radio. I know the tape is stuck. So let's just go with that and say it don't work. Now I kept this because this is the color the headliner was. I hope that stayed up. And the padding is still on the front piece. I didn't even take it down, but the padding came off the back pieces. Okay, so I kept this to where you had a piece of it, to where you, in case you really wanted to... I don't know what somebody would want to do. I mean, if I was putting a headliner in this, I would go original color, just for the heck of it. Um, that clothes is fine, but it's just open a bit. I don't know why. I haven't researched it. I could probably, you know what? I guarantee it's that bottom piece gets bent in there a little bit. And if you take the bottom screws off and flatten the piece down there, it'll make it close more like that. And it'll just be a different angle. So, there we are. Miscellaneous scuffy scratches on this type of stuff. And one more thing about the front, well, the sun visors, actually. I have. Consider this. Even a Mercedes has plastic those pieces and they all give out. 
but they're in good shape. You could actually clean them and they'd be fine, um, which is amazing. The thing must have been kept in a garage, especially like a wagon. These all get rotted out and everything because it's like a hot box in here, plain and simple. Headliners don't survive in these. A little hole in the carpet right there, and I got a couple screws here. Um, I believe they're from the... You know what I'm talking about, even though you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's take these. I got keys somewhere. Original California blue plate. Ouch. And I'll show you that later. I'll show you why it's like that in a second. Back seat's in great shape. Just absolutely great shape. That's all there is to it. Um, I'm looking for my keys now to open the trunk. Got them. I have no clue what this is. Likely some type of a caddy type thing. Miscellaneous scratches there. Cup holder is what I'm trying to say. Um, nice little rear buckets. It's a 74. Of course it says 10 and 73 because that's how they do them in America. These doors close so nice. That's all there is to it. Okay, before I forget, I'm going to come over here. I didn't show you that chip either. God, that original paint's thick. Okay. Slight little bump in the trim right there. I didn't notice that before. You tell him, girl. Tinybeagles.com. There's a dog barking. And there's one walking up the street. And she ain't having it. That's why the plate was cut. And I wasn't going to cut my dealer plate. It's a California car. But I wasn't going to cut my dealer plate. So. Nice shape back here. I don't know what this is. Could have been a kill switch, but there's a wire underneath. I believe it's disconnected now. Um, this no rest or nothing. Nice. I don't know, the Henry. If Henry's the guy that approved this when it went out, or if it's because of Ford. Look at that, the original clips are still there to clip them in. That is just so cool. Um, of course, let's be reasonable. I'm not gonna be the one to stretch this out. You can. Actually, I might be. You know, it, it'll do it, I believe, 100%. I'm just not gonna stretch it. Um, I am going to lay that seat down, however. I was going to do it before. Now look at this weather stripping stuff here. Is, um, what do you call it? Window, rail molding or something to that effect. Never done this before. Ooh, not perfect. Look, there's a hole there. Thank God I came on this side and right here too. I don't know what that clip was, but it's there. How's that? How is that? Just sweet. Stinking live in this thing, man. Some tears in the carpet right there. I'll leave this door open to where I can show you. And I'm going to go back around the other side and pop the hood. Look at that. <whistles> Seriously. And this, <laughs> serious, look at this. Beautiful. A little bit of aging starting along that edge. There's one little tear in it right here. And a little bit of aging starting on that edge. But it's still spongy and everything. Plastic trim. Is that metal? That's plastic. That plastic trim is still intact. That might be metal. Which is, again, on this, just amazing. That piece is still there. That's metal. But that's not. Okay, my battery's dying. I'm gonna have to get the hood down, up. Hope I can end this video on. I'm not gonna speed up too much. Slow down. I'll come back if I have to and clip it in. I wanna make sure and not rush myself and miss something. Just absolutely beautiful on the doors. You see in the dash. You see in the foul wood. Chunk missing there. Oh, and the word on the seatbelts is. How's that for word on the seatbelts? They're up here because we were going to take the headliner down. I believe that's pretty much the story. There's that. I did that before I started this video, huh?
Okay. It's just easier when you're detailing. And it was like that. Okay. Under the hood. Damn it. Got a broken finger on that hand. And so it really. Ow! Sorry, Mr. Camera and people watching. It really changes the way you do things. Okay! Absolutely beautiful under the hood. Air conditioning. And there's still the label on the motor. The engine leader's scraped off. I think it's a 2.3. Yeah, they're 2,300. Kind of still got the sticker. Somebody converted it and put an electronic ignition on it. The crane. Pretty cool. Actually, really cool. It's got a, a spray bottle for that. The belt is off from the AC to there, so it doesn't turn. Um, smog pump belt. If that is a smog pump, I'm not sure. It doesn't turn because of that. There is no smog on this year in California. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the valve cover. Still got a lot of blue paint on it. It's clean. It's got what I believe to be 85,000 original miles on it. Look at the bottom of the hood. This is not a rusty car. This is a very clean car. That's all I have to say about it. I didn't want to spray that or anything blue. Well, I'm back. But in being back, I really don't know that there's anything else that I needed to show you on it. Um, you can skip back a few seconds. It's just a little patina on the inside of that. Nice as can be, clean as can be. Um, go ahead and definitely, look at them hubcaps. Hit me up on Facebook. Um, and psh, subscribe on YouTube. You know what? No, that's how they're shaped. And the shape. Oh! I don't know. This may have came down over the years. Maybe it used to come out, or maybe it just went down. I really don't know. They're both like that, though. That's that. I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I think that is the entire interior. I'm going to make sure. Oh! couple more things. Dang it, man. This finger's killing me. Sorry about that. I need to take a picture. Okay, can you sit in the seat for a second, reader? And I know she doesn't run all over the cars usually, but for this particular given thing here, that's where she's going to be. Now, they actually still have the covers on these, which is just amazing. I don't mean to complain here about my finger. Okay, that one is different. It needs to come off. It actually, yeah. The driver's one's actually different. You have to pull it back, take that off, shove that through there. So that one will have to be done at a different later date. There's some wear on that, on that. And the chrome color around here is worn off. Hood thing works, aftermarket gauges work. Sorry about the reflection. Try and get that. I wanted to disclose the cracks in the steering wheel. These <laughs> seat's still squeaky, which is pretty common here. You found a big old place, huh? Okay, well. Don't, 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 my little Pinto does 110. I don't know about that. Actually, it probably would, man. This thing goes. It really does. Okay, oh, that little light. I'm glad I seen that before life, look at how nice that closed. Before life got too serious. Because this light is missing the dome cover, but it's very strong. Look at that little metal inserts. I'm gonna get back and zoom in. Little metal inserts within the plastic. Look at that. Hang on now, I'm sorry. That is high tech manufacturing. It's quality. It is pretty good quality, seriously. Okay, keep this in here. Nice little center consoles, all in good shape. 
And that's that. Okay, well, thanks for watching. That is the interior. Next is the test drive. I'll put a little link to that somehow. And check it out. Make sure and subscribe. Cereal Marshmallows on YouTube. And you can go to Cereal Marshmallows on Facebook also. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Cansoup.com don't know how I'm putting this in here, but somehow I missed this gouge. I think it's the color. You just don't see it. And I showed the ding in the trim the other day. There's a ding there, and that gouge goes right there. And that's likely what dinked that as well. So, right there, just something I didn't see when I was reviewing it. And I wanted to show you, God, them wheels look good. Now back to whatever we was doing before I clipped this in. One owner car guy. One owner car guy .com. Back here again with the Pinto two-door wagon. Ooh, buddy. It's a clean, sweet little car. I'm gonna just give you a quick walk around in case you haven't seen the interior and exterior video. If you haven't, I'll put a link to it in the front here. God, look at them windows. It's in great shape. It's a one or two owner. Um, I've done all three videos today, and it's just in great shape. Got a little help doing some detail and now and stuff. The training takes time, but the videos are getting done, and the cars are going to get and sold. Now, I've got Breeder with me, tinybeagles.com, so she kind of makes me bounce the camera around a little bit extra. I'm sorry. And check out cansoup.com, oneownercarguy.com. What goes good with the Pinto? Mercedes and stuff, you know, of course. Okay. Got it. My dad's like, they were cool, I don't remember seeing them. I said, they're factory. He says, I know, they're cool. So, okay, I'm gonna take this off of my neck. And we're gonna go for a test drive. The car runs and drives good. Now the tires, I think he replaced them at the same time. Like the front two are fairly new. Little titties all over the side and stuff. Great tread. The back two, I think are older. Plenty of tread, but I think he replaced it a different time. This one has plenty of tread, but I don't like the. Is this the one? Yeah, right there. Just a little bit of dry rot starting. So, little chips in there. A little bit of corroding or whatever. That plastic little ring starting. Chrome ring. But you know, once the dry rot starts, you could have a. If you have a blowout and blow the stinking side of your car out. That <laughs> makes you wish you'd have sure spent 40 to 60 bucks on a tire. Like I say, the front two are pretty nice. This one looks even different than the other. It looks pretty good. Got a lot of tread. Unless you're worried about a tread pattern. But these two on the back definitely are older. What would I do? Probably buy all four. Okay, so... We are going to go for a test drive. Let's do that again. Alternator, engine, fasten belts, brake. Wow. You know, I think it needs the idle turned up just a bit because if you go like this, like it's cold, so it's like running a little cold right now. But like, right? Hang on now. Just a teensiest bit right there. Is any less and it kind of will cough at you a little bit now. <laughs> okay, you're gonna do that to me, huh? It is cold. Okay, look at this. You built that little custom brace there. I think there's a choke that's not on. Could be. So, starts nice, runs cold. By the time you get to your first light, it won't do that. Plastic piece is broken off that side too. I showed you the custom brace that he made to back that up. You know how them handles get if you know the forward cars like this. And with that in mind, there's a little gauge over there too. I don't know what it is. Those are not looking. Yeah, it's an amp gauge, not amplifiers. Okay, here we go. Look at that little factory mirror. I like this car. I know, it's not the most expensive or most collectible, etc. But it's 
survivor. Okay, well, we are doing it and doing it. What a cool car. I'm telling you, man. A little bit of play in the wheel. Oh, it's kind of turned now, so can't show you that. Oh. There's not any power steering, but it's such a small car, you don't notice anything like that. Brakes are good, but they could use to be bled maybe a little. Um, it has been sitting a while, and it'll stop just fine, but it definitely is meh. Now, I wouldn't say spongy. Maybe. Just a little bit of... Yeah, there you go. In it. You don't want that in it. <laughs> yeah, that. <clears throat> hey, I don't know if the... Hey, now. Lights all work. Remember when you used to have to do it on the floor? Haha, <laughs> when you had to do it on the floor. That's what she said. So it does a nice little job cruising along. Four cylinder? 2.3 liter, I believe. I'm sure about the four cylinder. The 2.3 liter is the part I'm not so sure about. The uh, glass in this thing is just beautiful. You know, this has been going on here a lot. It's amazing, we have crime in these guys. And it just seems like more and more busy people. What are you doing, dude? He was not going and then all of a sudden he went. Mark Pinto again. He was looking at my car or something. It shifts nice, it runs nice. This is a go get her little car, man. Go get her this, go get her that. <laughs> go and get her anything you need her. Upshift's just great. And I started thinking about just doing my test drives from my mom's back to my place that I have for a lot. Because it's cool. It's a longer drive. And you, people get up to 45, 50 on this road. Versus, oh, the lights don't come on because that piece is gone. I showed you that in the previous video. If you didn't see the interior and exterior videos, you should. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube. Add me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Nathan Radislaw. N-A-T-H-A-N-W-R-A-T-I-S-L-A-W. And add me on Instagram, instagram.com forward slash Cereal Marshmallows. I'm going to give it a long time. I'm not even going to slow now. I'm going to push them a little bit hard. Brake light does come on when you push them all the way. So it might be a little low on fluid even. But, here's what I'm talking about. You get to a light, it just seems like the idle, it's running nice. Just turn it up, watch. Right. Right there. Right there would be better. Right there. Versus if I let off, hang on. See the light came back on. It's just maybe a 70. Ooh, I don't think so. I didn't know he got to jump on me. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. He doesn't know. And he pulls ahead. Yes, sir. -y. Woo, buddy. The big bad Pinto. If I stack it on the roof, I can haul just as much as him. I think he knew he was racing. Maybe. He's flipping me off and getting behind me now. I must. Okay, that is our test drive here, pretty much. And, dang it, dude. I'm telling you what, people go fast here. This guy, I can't keep up. I'm not going to go that fast. That's 56 miles an hour. I'd be like, yeah, 47, 46. Yeah, exactly. It's a 45 mile an hour zone. Think about that power. I'm telling you. It's a good running little car. Nice driver. Minimal little this and that to do. Um, you get this thing on and these things not moving any. It might not have as many of a, a rattle and popper here and there or nothing. Just 
Jeez, people are kidding me today. They're either going 60 or they're going 20. Five to a lane, none in the other. Yes, sir. Everybody hurry up so we can stop in a big line, right? Okay. That's the test drive. We are basically where I'm going. Starbucks is pretty much always packed. But it's not people, it's cops. <laughs> One or the other. Okay, I am going to... Am I going to wait at the light? I'm going to wait at the light, ain't I? I was going to go right. Okay. See? It's doing it now. Hey, there we go. Nice running. I still feel like... Fifty RPM could be all the difference in the world. Hang on. Now I gotta get it in drive. They think oh, that pinch. They don't even know the half of this deal, man. This thing is back in the bone. It is a nice little runner. You don't come across them this nice very often. Okay, just like that, I'm back at my place, and um, I am going to shut this bad boy. Actually, I'm going to leave this bad boy running. Look at that. Even the light works. Where's that at? Oh, it must be up here. It's not. Where's that at? Oh, it's in there. Okay. So it's running like it should now. Really, it might not need to be adjusted at all. Listen to it. There is a pulley squeakage. A pulley squeakage! Now, come on. Is that even a word, a phrase, or anything close to that? I don't think it's so. Hang on a sec. I'm sorry. You know, that belt just seems a little loose. You know, that belt a little loose? Or the pulley on the alternator? Hang on a sec. We'll do a little figuring out. Beautiful night in Lakeside, California. Listen to that thing running out. Come on. This thing ain't running bad. Yeah, buddy. It's a good little car. Okay. Why did I do this? I was going to shut this off. But instead of doing that, I thought it sounded so cool running. I wanted to check the lights, too. That's on. That's on. That's on. Going to be hard to do reverse and stuff by myself. That's on. They're all on, man. I mean, the car is sweet. Sweet! Yes, sirree. Okay, here we go. That belt's a little loose. I'll try and tighten it up. Okay. One owner car guy. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. That's the car. That's the test drive. Thanks for watching. It's for sale. Give me a call, 406-546-8748. Check the website, oneownercarguy.com and cansoup.com and tinybeagles.com. Yeehaw, we got a couple of them. Also, quirky little cool cars, I got them. Volvo, Sentra hatchback, W140 S500s, 840 BMWs, I got 30 Trans Ams, W140, W140, Celica, got a Cimarron right there, got a four of these Seville's, got, oh man. I can't even get in here because I've got all this stuff and I dropped my keys and stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, this is the one you need. Give me a ring. Thanks for watching.